Hi, I'm Mel, and our hope for today from God's Word is from the second letter of Paul to the church at Corinth, chapter 1. Actually, for the next several months, we will be working through this, this letter of Paul, his most personal letter, as he shares about his own struggles. It's his most passionate and emotional letter. We'll be working through this book, perhaps like you would read the Bible devotionally, looking for one insight to camp on and reflect on for your journey with God today. Speaking of struggles and troubles, it's actually how Paul starts this book. Listen to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, beginning at verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all compassion, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort that we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ to others. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. Troubles, struggles. Why is this happening, we ask? We often ask that question to figure out perhaps who to blame or how we can get out of it the fastest or maybe more positively to find out what God wants us to learn from it. There are so many dimensions to that why question. Many of them are unanswerable and few of them actually help us in the long run. They cause a lot of wheel spinning. But there are two answers to the why question that are always true. One of God's purposes for allowing trouble, sending pain, is so that we can meet Him and know Him in a deeper and fuller and richer way. Praise be to the God and Father of Jesus Christ, who comforts us in all our troubles. That word comfort it's from the same word that Jesus used to talk about the Holy Spirit he would send. The one who is called alongside, being alongside of us to strengthen us. We will never know the strength, the love, the fullness of God's presence apart from trouble. So is there some way in which you need to stop fighting your way out of it, forcing it out of your life, and just, just invite God to help you see and to know Him in this trouble. But there's another purpose for trouble, for suffering that is always true in any suffering. Our troubles, well, the way we handle our troubles, is for others, not just for ourselves, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort that we ourselves have received from God. Your suffering, the way you handle suffering, is God's spiritual gift to others through you. Just like Jesus' suffering was a gift for us, our suffering is how God calls us to pay Jesus' suffering forward for others. A number of years ago, I was going through what I considered to be unfair pain, troubles. I tried to do it well, but I was struggling. And then I was out walking one day with a few men who were sports leaders in our community. Both were about my age, one of whom I didn't really know that well. We had worked together on a project, but, uh, and neither of whom claimed any connection with God. This guy I didn't know well began talking about a bad experience that he was going through and not going through well by his own admission. And he said to me, Mel, I know you've gone through something like this. I've been watching you. I've been listening to you. And I want to do it like you. I had no idea he knew about it or had been watching me. But do you know what, that, what happened to me in that moment? Suddenly, my pain became purposeful. 
my troubles became a whole lot more meaningful. So does that mean we should want trouble, chase trouble? Don't worry. Trouble will find you. Just don't run from it and don't waste it. Let God meet you there to strengthen you with His presence. And remember, someone's watching you and just might meet Jesus through you. God bless you.